Um, you'll have to see because sometimes it's not as open as you think it's going to be. Oh, yeah. What I could have given for a margarita. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How did I prepare for it? Well, quite honestly, I didn't. Here's the thing: is I knew Mike and Arie separately before X on the Beach. I had had a crush on Mike for years. He was the first guy I'd ever had a crush on. In fact, Mike and I had kissed each other at his birthday in front of a race before. So you can imagine how I'm feeling when Mike walks in and I go, oh, hi, Mike's here for me. He sits down next to a race. And I go, well, I didn't know you two were dating. And also now this is all. <laughs> okay, Arise, what made you agree to get back together with him night one? Um, did I? <laughs> I was like, we both we made out with Mike on the first day. Yeah, I was like, I don't know this. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't really sound familiar. <laughs> I love that. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I was really annoyed because that is not, it's just not the one I wanted. <laughs> like, if we're getting our ex back, I'm like, I don't want this one right now. <laughs> like, I could have maybe week four or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, you know what? That's a good question because I've thought about this when I found out that it was X on the beach. I'm like, is there an X that I would really, really dread seeing? To be honest with you, I was really just hoping to see some X's that I hadn't seen in a long time. And uh, it, yeah, I was, it, I was more excited than nervous, really. There are a lot of differences. Um, the Obviously the, the most obvious biggest one is uh, I wasn't allowed to, you know, kiss or touch or anything on, on Too Hot to Handle, and I've realized that I probably have lots of PDA on Next on the Beach. And that'll probably be a big, uh, big difference that people aren't used to seeing. Um, but you know, the experience from going from your first show to your second show, it, it is different, and I feel like I'm, I'm, uh, I probably could be more myself in, the, in this one. Like the, the challenge and Big Brother, those are competition shows. You know, I being on those shows, you see me get feisty, sassy. I'm borderline an ogre, like, cause it's money on the line. It, it gets real ugly. And on this show, I anticipated smooth sailing. You know, I'm sitting margaritas on the beach, do great confessionals and live my best life. This was some shit. Like, <laughs> this was hard. This was by far the hardest show I think I've ever done. So it, it's very different. Oh, um, you live and you learn. Everyone goes through their own experiences and he had an opportunity to go through it, watch it, and hopefully learn from it. No. <laughs> no that ship has sailed. The only way I'll be back is if I'm hosting, but I feel like Julie, that's her baby. But if she ever want to hand it over, I am open to adopt. <laughs> Talk to who? Nicole. <laughs> uh -huh. Talk to who? Mm -hmm. Why would I talk to that lady? <laughs> Great. Nicole. I don't talk uh, to nobody that was a part of that crew. None of them. <laughs> David, let me see your left hand real quick. Turn around. Okay, still no ring. Okay. Oh! Ah! No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, I'm checking up on you since you learned so much about yourself. I'm like, okay, like, well, let's see it. I was like, I was expecting, like, a bomb at the end of that sentence, but probably took it off before the interviews. <laughs> maybe. Listen, maybe. like I said, no spoilers, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. No spoilers. Give me spoilers. I was just checking up on you. I haven't seen you in a minute. Cut <laughs> the spoilers out of my <laughs> edit. You <laughs> <laughs> shady. Oh. Oh, um, that's the the gatekeeper right there. <laughs> she the big boss, like ain't no getting to me. You got to go through her. So I'm, I'm very protective. You know, I, I don't introduce her to a bunch of people because I don't ever want her to be like, oh, this is uncle and a new uncle and a new person. Like, no, nah, I don't I don't bring men in and out of my daughter's life. I don't believe in that. I don't do none of that. So my dating is very far in between. <laughs> so yeah, it just, 
it made me very particular. Like I, I date with intention. I'm not, I, I can't afford to just be out here. Oh, your turn, your turn, your turn. I have to date with intention. What, what you trying to do in the next five to 10 years? Uh, it was somewhere in the way, like I said, this is my third dating show that I've done. So I kind of understand like, maybe you should you present yourself this way. You can like, you know, you really need to make sure you lock yourself down, like get a little safe and then venture out. But the biggest difference, like I've been saying is on Paradise Hotel, like it, there, it was a dating game, but it was also a strategic game to win money at the end. Make sure you're friends with these people, but also not friends with other people who, you know, you might want to compete against. But in Paradise Hotel, you had to be in a couple to keep going. On X and the Beach, you could be by yourself completely the entire time and just focus on yourself or just casually date as many people as you could. Or like I was saying, like be in an open relationship. You really had the freedom to do what you wanted because you weren't going to get sent home unless you're, I don't know, outrageous. <laughs>